Vice President Kamala Harris just gave an incredible speech in Atlanta, Georgia, in front of a packed crowd. This is the moment when Vice President Kamala Harris was introduced to the audience. Play the clip. Here she is challenging Donald Trump one more time to show up to the debate that Trump has canceled to not be a coward and to debate her. She says, I hope you'll reconsider. Play this clip. So the momentum in this race is shifting. And there are signs that Donald Trump is feeling it. You may have noticed. So last week, you may have seen, he pulled out of the debate in September he had previously agreed to. So, so, so here's the thing. Here, here's the funny thing about that. Here's the funny thing about that. So he won't debate, but he and his running mate sure seem to have a lot to say about me. Don't you find some of their stuff to just be plain weird? Well, Donald, I do hope you'll reconsider to meet me on the debate stage. Because as the saying goes, if you've got something to say, say it to my face. By the way, just take a look at this crowd and how pumped up they are. Here, play this clip. And unlike Donald Trump, who constantly talks about Hannibal Lecter and getting eaten by sharks, Vice President Kamala Harris spent this speech also talking about policy, and she talks about bringing back the border security bill that Donald Trump killed. Play this clip. So here is my pledge to you. As president, I will bring back the border security bill that Donald Trump killed, and I will sign it into law. show Donald Trump what real leadership looks like. We then hear loud chants from an energized crowd. We're not going back. Listen to this. And we are not going back. because ours is a fight for the future. She then talks about how Donald Trump likes to talk a big game about the border, but in reality, Donald Trump is causing the chaos. Play the clip. That job, I walked underground tunnels between the United States and Mexico on that border with law enforcement officers. I went after transnational gangs, 
drug cartels, and human traffickers that came into our country illegally. I prosecuted them in case after case, and I won. Donald Trump... <laughs> Donald Trump, on the other hand, has been talking a big game about securing our border, but he does not walk the walk. Or as my friend Quavo would say, he does not walk it like he talks it. administration worked on the most significant border security bill in decades. Some of the most conservative Republicans in Washington, D.C. supported the bill. Even the Border Patrol endorsed it. It was all set to pass. But at the last minute, Trump directed his allies in the Senate to vote it down. Right. He tanked tanked the bipartisan deal because he thought it would help him win an election. Which goes to show Donald Trump does not care about border security. He only cares about himself. And when I am president, I will work to actually solve the problem. And let us be very clear, what just took place at this moment is a warning sign for the Trump campaign. Play the clip. And the freedom of a woman to make decisions about her own body and not have her government tell her what to do. Then Vice President Kamala Harris continues to mock and roast Donald Trump for not debating her. Watch this. Says. <laughs> so the momentum in this race is shifting. And there are signs that Donald Trump is feeling it. You may have noticed. So last week, you may have seen he pulled out of the debate in September he had previously agreed to. So, so, so here's the thing. Here, here's the funny thing about that. Here's the funny thing about that. So he won't debate, but he and his running mate sure seem to have a lot to say about me. Don't you find some of their stuff to just be plain weird? And by the way, she, just don't you love that she's calling him and Shady Vance weird? By the way, this was Donald Trump's interview that was airing at the same time on the Laura Ingraham show on Fox. Projection much? Play this clip of Donald. I had a nice seven iron right next to the pin. Biden wouldn't do that. He couldn't hit the ball 15 but, yards. I mean, what is this just no, plain weird? Listen, American families. The whole weird. thing is a con job. Just plain weird. You know who's plain weird? She's plain weird. She's a weird person. Look at her past. Look at what she does. And look at what she used to say about herself. And I won't get into it. What she used to say and who she was compared to what she said starting at about 2016. She be then Vice President Kamala Harris talks about Project 2025. Play the clip. One that would raise prices on middle class families. Just look at his Project 2025 agenda. I take it you've seen it. Project 2025 is a plan to weaken the middle class. Be clear. And Donald Trump intends to cut Social Security and Medicare. He intends to give tax breaks to billionaires and big corporations. He intends to gut our investments in clean energy jobs. He 
intends to end the Affordable Care Act, to take us back to a time when insurance companies had the power to deny people with pre-existing conditions. You guys remember what that was? Children with asthma, breast cancer survivors, grandparents with diabetes. Georgia, America has tried these failed policies before and we are not going back. Vice President Kamala Harris talks about, again, more policy, what she'll do on day one. Play the clip. On day one, I will take on price gouging and bring down costs. We will ban more of those hidden fees and surprise late charges that banks and other companies use to pad their profits. We will take on corporate landlords and cap unfair rent increases. And we will take on Big Pharma to cap prescription drug costs for all Americans. Our plan will lower costs and save many middle-class families thousands of dollars a year. But Donald Trump has a different plan in mind, one that would raise prices on middle class families. Then Kamala Harris says, look, as a prosecutor, I know Donald Trump's type predators like that. Play the clip. As many of you know, before I was elected vice president and before I was elected a United States senator, I was an elected attorney general and an elected district attorney. And before that, I was a courtroom prosecutor. So in those roles, I took on perpetrators of all kinds. Predators who abused women. Fraudsters who ripped off consumers. Cheaters who broke the rules for their own gain. So hear me when I say, I know Donald Trump's type. I know the type. And I have been dealing with people like him my entire career. For example, as Attorney General of California, I took on one of our country's largest for-profit colleges that was scamming students. Well, Donald Trump ran a for-profit college that scammed students. As a prosecutor, I specialized in child sexual abuse cases and sexual abuse cases. Well, Trump was found liable for committing sexual abuse. And as an attorney general, I held the big Wall Street banks accountable for fraud. Donald Trump was just found guilty of fraud. 34 counts. She also went after transnational gangs and cartels as a prosecutor. Play the clip. I went after transnational gangs, drug cartels, and human traffickers that came into our country illegally. I prosecuted them in case after case, and I won. Donald Trump, <laughs> Donald Trump, on the other hand, has been talking a big game about securing our border, but he does not walk the walk. Or as my friend Quavo would say, he does not walk it like he talks it. worked on the most significant border security bill in decades. 
Some of the most conservative Republicans in Washington, D.C. supported the bill. Even the Border Patrol endorsed it. It was all set to pass. But at the last minute, Trump directed his allies in the Senate to vote it down. Right. He tanked, tanked the bipartisan deal because he thought it would help him win an election. Which goes to show Donald Trump does not care about border security. He only cares about himself. Finally, she talks about her future looking vision. Here, play this clip. And we are not going back because ours is a fight for the future. And it is a fight for freedom. And we are witnessing a full on assault on hard fought, hard won freedoms and rights. The freedom to vote. The freedom to be safe from gun violence. The freedom to live without fear of bigotry and hate. The freedom to love who you love openly and with pride. The freedom to learn and acknowledge our true and full history. woman to make decisions about her own body and not have her government tell her what to do. Ours is a fight for the future and for freedom. And I don't have to tell folks in Atlanta that generations of Americans before us led the fight for freedom. And now, the baton is in our hands. Each and every one of us. And we love our country. We love our country. And I believe it is the highest form of patriotism to fight for the ideals of our country. And so, we who believe in the sacred freedom to vote will finally pass the Freedom to Vote Act and the John Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act. We who believe in the freedom to live safe from gun violence will finally pass universal background checks. We who believe in reproductive freedom will stop Donald Trump's extreme abortion bans and when Congress passes a law to restore reproductive freedoms, as President of the United States, I will sign it into law. So while all of that was happening, you had Donald Trump's VP pick, Shady Vance, speaking earlier. Let's just compare Vice President Kamala Harris's speech to Shady Vance. Here's what Shady had to say. I'm, I'm 40 years old, almost. I'm sad about that, by the way. I turned 40, I think, on Friday. Thank you all. I saw this photo circulating too. It's a funny one right here. But by the way, Vice President Kamala Harris is soaring in the polls right now, um, up in the battleground states and in some states up significantly in battleground states. I mean, look at this Michigan poll from Morning Consult has Vice President Kamala Harris up 10. And the current campaign schedule with the Democratic convention is only going to favor Vice President Kamala Harris as she continues to surge keep you posted as we learn more here on the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. We're almost at 3 million subscribers. Thanks for watching. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.